Today we are overclocking the AMD Radeon 780M integrated in the Ryzen 7 8700G APU all the way up to 3150MHz in 5 minutes or less using the Asus Strix ROG X670EI gaming motherboard and EK Quantum Custom Loop water cooling. I'll speedrun you through the BIOS settings and provide some notes and tips along the way. Please note that this is for entertainment purposes only and not the whole picture. If you want to learn how to overclock this system, have a look at the longer Scatterbencher video that's already up on this channel. All right, let's do this. Switch to the advanced mode view and stay in the AI tweaker menu. Set AI overclock tuner to Expo tweaked. This will not only load our memory kit's Expo frequency, timings and voltage, but also apply some additional ASUS RG memory timing adjustments. Memory performance is critical for APU graphics performance. Set memory frequency to DDR5-6800. This is slightly higher than the Expo rating of DDR5-6400. By first loading the Expo profile, we ensure the Expo memory timings and voltages are still applied. Go to the Advanced menu. Enter the AMD overclocking submenu. Click Accept. This BIOS menu provides us with all the AMD overclocking tools and knobs required to fine-tune the APU CPU core, graphics, Infinity Fabric and memory performance. Enter the manual iGPU overclocking submenu. Now we can set our manual target clock frequency for the integrated graphics. We must also specify a target voltage for this frequency. We can set the frequency 250 MHz higher than the default 2.9 GHz. Note that the maximum graphics voltage is restricted to 1.25 volt in ambient conditions. Set GFX clock frequency to 3150. Set GFX voltage to 1200. Leave the manual iGPU overclocking submenu. Enter the DDR and Infinity Fabric frequency timings submenu. Here we can adjust the system memory configuration as well as tune the Infinity Fabric and memory controller. Since we are using the Expo settings for this guide, we'll only fine tune the Infinity Fabric and memory controller frequency. Enter the Infinity Fabric frequency and dividers submenu. Set Infinity Fabric frequency and dividers to 2500 MHz. This is up 500 MHz from the default 2 GHz. Set UClock Div 1 mode to UClock equals MemClock divided by 2. This forces the memory controller to run at half the frequency of the system memory. Our memory frequency will be DDR5-6800, which is 3400 MHz. So the memory controller will run at 1.7 GHz. Leave the Infinity Fabric Frequency and Dividers submenu. Leave the DDR and Infinity Fabric Frequency Timings submenu. Enter the Precision Boost Overdrive submenu. Here we can use the AMD Precision Boost Overdrive 2 toolkit to increase the power, current and frequency headroom of the Precision Boost 2 boost algorithm. Set Precision Boost Overdrive to Advanced. Set PBO limits to Motherboard. This adjusts the PBO platform parameters, PPT, TDC and EDC, according to the motherboard auto rules. On this motherboard, we find that the following values have changed. Then save and exit the BIOS. We rerun some benchmarks to ensure everything is working as intended and check the performance increase compared to the default settings. Higher is better and all of our benchmark scores are higher. We see a maximum performance increase of plus 39.09% in AI benchmark. When running the 3 d Mark Speedway Stability Test, the average GPU effective clock is 3141 MHz with 1.2 volts. The GPU memory clock is 3400 MHz. The average GPU ASIC power is 84 watts. And that's it. I thank you for watching and the patrons for the support and see you next time.